Crew, it won't be long now before we reach our destination. Yes! Home at last! And it'll sure be great to see my old cronies, Yudu and Blebo, again. That'll be great, Cap! I mean, Captain. Sir. We must stay on course. What are you reading now, Trey Carillion? Oh. 36 miles west of Vindroxy. And at the rate of 54 neurons, well, we should reach home by about... Oh, no. What is it, Jazan? The compact is damaged. It's the nuclear compass, sir. The nuclear compass. I knew we should have stuck with solar energy. Trink, can we hold course? I doubt it, Captain. We're drifting. And furthermore, we seem to be caught in some sort of gravitational field. Jazan, check the astronomical charts. What's got a hold of us? Well, it's not a black hole. Ah, oh, here we are. Where? Well, the map indicates a small sphere called Earth. What's our status, Trink? Status, sir? We're going down fast! Emergency procedure, crew. Auxiliary power. Oh. We're gonna crash! Like we made it. Yeah, are you okay? I'm okay. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Well, what happened? We crash landing. The lights are back on. The power's back. Yeah. Well, where's Jazz at? Well, I'm still here. We'd better inform home base of our situation. What's this? Looks like we're receiving a transmission. And now, students, please take out your paper and pencils and get ready for today's new spelling words. When you hear the word, please write it down. Remember to always practice good penmanship. The first word is farce. A style of comedy that is ridiculous and absurd is called farce. Farce. The next word is drama. A theatrical performance that portrays life is a drama. Drama. The next word is actress. It is important for an actress to remember her lines. Actress. And the last word is character. During a play, actors must stay in character. Character. And now let's correct your papers. Remember to proofread your papers for any spelling errors. And if you do find a misspelled word, cross it out. 
and write the correct spelling beside it. Here's the first word. Farce. It's spelled F-A-R-C-E. Farce. The next word is drama. It's spelled D-R-A-M-A. -A. Drama. The next word is actress. It's spelled A-C-T-R-E-S-S. -S. Actress. And the last word is character. It's spelled C-H-A-R-A-C-T-E. R. Character. What was that all about? Well, according to the astral anthropological computer, all the previous terms mentioned pertain to a human endeavor called theater arts. Arts. What's a human? Yeah, what's a human? They are the intelligent form of life that inhabit this planet. Look, there goes one now. They're strange looking creatures, aren't they? I don't know. I think they're kind of cute. Nevertheless, we have more important matters to deal with. I can't seem to contact home base. This Earthling planet has too many transmissions. Well, why don't you change the frequency? And what, did you think that I didn't think of that? Home base to spaceship one. Come in, Spaceship One. Captain Bosch, do you read me? That's us! Well, that's us! Yes, I know who we are. This is Captain Bosch. Come in, please. Captain, we've been monitoring your frequency and are aware of your condition and location. But what is this spelling plus? I'm not quite sure, sir. It must be some form of Earthling communication. Right now, we are assessing damages as to repair them and to return home as soon as possible. Excellent, Captain. But continue to monitor this Spelling Plus program. We on the Council were not aware of life on this planet. Wish to have all available data? I can't maintain the signal. Trinkerillion, put all the auxiliary power into the data controls. Oh, you said, Captain. It's no use, Captain. There is not sufficient power. Trinkerillion, begin assessing damages and begin the repairs. Jazz hand, go outside and camouflage the ship. I have a hunch it's going to be quite a while before we can blast off. This is the entertainment section of a newspaper. It contains articles on personalities, movie listings, television, film, and theatrical reviews. Let's take a look at theatrical reviews. A theatrical review is an article of criticism or opinion. The writer of such an article is called a critic. The critic tells what he or she thinks about some form of entertainment, whether it be a film, a TV show, a book, or a play. Because of this, reviews are really a type of editorial, a newspaper or magazine article that gives the opinion of the paper. Students, please take out your pencils and papers. We will be discussing the five steps in writing a review. 
Please take notes as we cover this topic. The first step is to find one good idea and develop it. Remember, limit yourself to one idea. It may be that a film is too violent or that a play is too slow. But simply keep one idea as the theme of the article. Phrase that idea into one sentence and then expand that sentence into your review. The next step is to have a purpose in mind. It doesn't have to be anything profound. In fact, the simpler the better. But have a reason for feeling the way you do. Perhaps you think a film is terrible and you want to prevent movie patrons from wasting their hard-earned cash. Maybe you think everyone should see this play because of so-and-so. Whatever your reasons, know why. And that leads us to step three. Know and understand your topic. If you think John Russell was lousy in his latest picture, be able to point out why he was better in the others. To be a critic, you have to know your stuff and be able to make comparisons. It's no coincidence that some of the best movie critics are also the biggest movie fans. Don't try to judge something you know nothing about. Learn to appreciate it first. And now we come to step four. Organize your thoughts into an introduction, a body, and a conclusion. As beginners, three paragraphs will suffice, one for each section. Start with a good lead paragraph that's right to the point and support it by using facts. Avoid generalizations like, it was good, Give examples and comparisons to support your views, then end it with a punch. Make sure your readers know exactly what you've said. The key is the beginning and the end, supported by facts in between. And now, students, let's write your theatrical review. Here's the structure. Write about any movie or TV show that you've seen recently. You will be given time after class to complete your work. Let's begin. Captain? Uh, yes. 
Jess, Jess Ann? Well, what were you doing? Nothing, nothing. Um, did you carry out your orders? Yes, sir. The ship is all camouflaged. I'm afraid it's gonna be some time before we blast off, though, Captain. We're in need of many things. A fruitostat, a mesmerometer, an axial disc, and a new gas cap. We'll start on that tomorrow. I have a few things I want to take care of myself. You're dismissed. Yes, yes sir. sir. What a day. Well, I must enter the data into the ship's log. Captain's log, stardate 61.20. Today, we had an unexpected and abrupt landing on a strange planet called Earth. We established communication with home base, but lost contact again. However, they requested us to monitor an Earthling program called Spelling Plus. In the program, we learned the terms farce, drama, actress, and character, and discovered the format for creating a piece of literature known as a theatrical review. We are making a genuine attempt at adapting to our new environment. Captain Bosch signing out.